Hey everybody! Welcome back to Guinevere's Studio. We're going to do something a little bit different this time. I'm going to show you a little bit of time lapse of a painting I did last week. A little bit of the process. Um, it wasn't like a serious painting, I just did it for fun. It was kind of a challenge for myself to see if I could just do a figure painting for one, one day, one day painting. And I was trying to paint a little bit looser. So I also have a bunch of news to tell you about. Uh, so next week I am going to be in Denver for the International Guild of Realism 11th Annual Exhibition. I have a painting in the show and the show is going to be at Gallery 1261 in downtown Denver. So I'm really excited to go. It's going to be so much fun and the show looks amazing. So if you're in the Denver area you should totally come and check it out. Also, uh, my painting is in um, the current issue of American Art Collector. So you guys can check that out if you have it available to you. I am in this article um, from Classical to Contemporary about the show. I'll show you my painting. Here it is. For the painting that's in the show, I haven't released the time lapse of it yet. I am still working on it, still editing it, so that will be coming in the future. I am also going to be in the American Women Artists National Show at the Bennington Center for the Arts in Bennington, Vermont. So if you're in Vermont, you might want to go check that one out. It's going to be an awesome show as well. I meant to look up the dates and I forgot to. Uh, the dates of that show are September 23rd to November 13th. And the opening reception is September 23rd from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. After that, in September, I am also going to be in the Oil Painters of America Salon Show. And I don't have the dates for that one, so I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. Okay, let's get into this time lapse. So I started out just sketching with the paintbrush my initial outline of a woman sitting reading a book. So here we are a little bit further along and um, I'm starting to put in the tones on the face. I really just wanted to work on a figure. I haven't done a lot of figure painting in a very long time. Decided I needed a little bit of practice and just wanted to start doing some quick studies of figures. Now you'll also see that uh, in this footage it's a little bit different. I've got, this is actually my Twitch setup. For some reason my camera wasn't working this day. I think something's wrong with my memory card so I'm going to have to get another memory card for it. But basically it wouldn't let me record. So we're looking at my footage from my Twitch broadcast that day. I did this whole painting live on Twitch and um, so this that's what the uh, the background is. We've got my break timer. I'll take a break in about 12 minutes and my recent donors are scrolling by at the top. And now you get to see me in my studio painting as well from a different angle than most of my time lapses. Pretty self-explanatory but yes this is what it looks like when I'm streaming on Twitch. So anyway with this woman I just wanted to be a little bit more creative and um, focus on just getting the figure right and then having fun with it, painting a lot looser than I usually do. So I was trying to keep myself working quickly and um, getting it done in one sitting. I definitely didn't want to return to this painting multiple times, so I just tried to get it all done at once. I spent a lot of time working on the face. Again, I haven't pa painted a figure in a while, so Getting the details of the face right were very important and wanted to take my time there. Whereas the rest of the painting, especially the background, I really worked very quickly. As you can see, I'm also standing up. That is a really good technique if you're trying to work quicker, so paint standing up and I think you just naturally, your body wants to get it done, so you paint quite a bit faster. Here 
here we are starting to put some background in. So again, I was just totally making it up and at this point I just wanted to play with the color. And um, so I went with this green color because the background was so yellow, I really just wanted to get rid of some of the yellow. I think I might have overdone it in the end and got rid of a little bit too much yellow. I probably should have kept some maybe in the hair and then in some of the later lights that I put in. But I think it came out okay anyway. the little red gummy bear coming out from the side of the screen and then blasting off in the middle of the screen. Uh, that's just a little animation that I did for Twitch. I made it from scratch. And again, it goes back to my gummy bear painting, which you can watch uh, one of my other videos of the time lapse of the gummy bear painting. But it pretty much came from that. It was inspired by everybody just loved the gummy bear painting. So I decided to make a little gummy bear animation for my channel. time to do the clothing I also wanted to make up the clothing I sort of wanted to make it look like she was laying in bed with a blanket wrapped around her or maybe like a, a big nightgown or something so I really wanted to emphasize the wrinkles and the you know volume of the blanket or dress wrapping around her so I had to do a lot of wrinkles and I wasn't working from any reference so I was just making it up and this was probably one of the trickier parts to make those wrinkles look somewhat real. <laughs> actually one of my favorite parts putting the little details of the design on her dress I just love details I just can't stop myself from adding a little bit of extra detail here and there background I sort of wanted to make it look a little bit more natural like maybe she was reading a book about some fanciful magical scene so I kind of started to add that into the background a little bit by having the trees and the sort of purple clouds that she's kind of sitting on top of. some late breaking news. I also forgot to mention that I sold a couple paintings in my automotive show. So these two paintings, they are sold. <laughs>
watching. I'll see you next week.